Welcome to the second full episode of Snow Dance at Home. Snow Dance is a little wintry music festival that takes place every year at the Falcon Ridge Ski Slopes. If you're new to the Snow Dance, welcome here. We're your hosts. I'm Will. This is Ernie. Good boy. The first episode and the tweener episodes are already up, so if you've got a chainsaw that needs a little TLC, or you want to learn the ways of the Iceman, then I invite you to go and check them out after this. All the episodes will be on the Falcon Ridge YouTube channel, as well as on our website. Tonight's performance features the music of our longtime pal Richard Inman, as well as Dana Lee coming straight from the rental shop. Grab your pens, because we got hot tips on how to make snow with Ryan the Groomer. We also have a leatherworking tutorial from Bad Hillary, as well as a reading of the Snow Dance origin story by local eccentric and consummate enthusiast, Lyndon Fraze. So kick off your boots, peel off your toques, enjoy episode two of Snow Dance at Home. Yeah. Hit it, Bing Bong. Hey, I'm Richard Inman, uh, and this is Snow Dance 2021, online edition. Um, this first song is a uh, first song I wrote during the pandemic and uh, I was really <laughs> really kind of pissed off at a lot of people for canceling my gigs and like a selfish asshole during the first couple of months and uh, you know and it wasn't even that I was like losing work I was gonna be fine <laughs> but it was just the way that they canceled them you know uh, every every last one of them said well at least you'll get a good song out of this and that just chapped my ass. <laughs> I was so mad. I, uh, I vowed I wasn't going to write a song about the pandemic. I vowed I wasn't going to ever write a song again because, you know, I'm not a jukebox. I'm going to do that for anybody. And then John Prine died. <laughs> that was a game changer. I was up looking at some land with my dad, and, and uh, we were driving back and talking, and, and he just started singing the... Uh, the chorus to Paradise for some reason. And uh, we sang that song together. We couldn't remember the second verse, but we got the first verse done. And uh, it wasn't a full moon, but it was, it was, the moon was coming up. And uh, yeah, I got home and then I got the news. And uh, then I wrote this song because what else do you do? Feels just like some science fiction book I never read Just waiting on the picture show release And dark clouds cover up a full moon on an April's Eve Feeling like the good Lord died for nothing now They'd open up the honky tonks if they only knew. Pour us all a double vodka ginger ale. Let us smoke our sorrow silly with a sad song and tall tale. Feeling like the good Lord died for nothing now. Lord, give us some sunshine So we can grow tomatoes again Give us potatoes And whatever makes gin Could use some tobacco And a bunch of funky old friends But you ain't no 7-Eleven Amen Daddy's singing paradise in the shotgun seat. I bet you Carter's crying, begging it ain't true. 
Ten thousand drunken voices crying, begging it ain't true. Guess that coal train's finally hauled it all the way. Lord, give us some sunshine so we can grow tomatoes again. Give us potatoes and whatever makes gin. Could use some tobacco and a bunch of funky old friends. But you ain't no 7-Eleven, amen. All right. Lord, give us some sunshine so we can grow tomatoes again. Give us potatoes and whatever makes gin. Could use some tobacco and a bunch of funky old friends. But you ain't no 7 Eleven. No, you ain't no Walmart store. No, you ain't no Kmart parking lot. You ain't no truck stop or amen. This one's uh, about playing cards with a couple of friends. It's, uh, <laughs> I couldn't decide whether to write a song about uh, a girl or, or gambling or a horse, so I just did all three. This song's called... Uh, King's on the corner. This one goes out to my buddies from Pinoca, Alberta. <laughs> Sitting around the Scove's Guard supper table. King's on the corner, 40 bucks a hand. Cutting up and telling jokes We're going big, we're going broke we're Drinking to the horses rode And the ladies that we lost And Drew spurred them down from Texas to Nebraska Marcus roped and rode a few in his time and I tell you boys the truth I lament wasted youth And all the mornings I was laying down As the sun began to rise I guess I had my share of wrecks along the highway Been knocked flat on my ass a time or two Another shot of whiskey helps us through December And a dark eyes flicker in my mind as we deal another hand Done. 
Marcus laughed and kicked his chair back from the table. He said, I thank you boys for everything, but I'm calling it a night. Fighting dirty ain't quite cheating if you're bound to lose that fight. I guess I had my share of wrecks along the highway And I come to love the losing Feeling low and feeling bad Another shot of whiskey helps us through December And her dark eyes flicker in my mind As we deal another hand and her dark eyes flicker in my mind as I lose the final hand. Hi, we're the Emory family from Falcon Beach Ranch. And every year we host the horse and beach touring event at Snow Dance. And today we're going to show you a few different ways of ski joring at home. The first and most exciting method of ski joring is, of course, to use a horse. And if you don't have a horse, you can use a dog. Don't have a horse or a dog, use a friend. This song's called Raining in December. I wrote this with my good friend Zachary Lucky. And uh, right now it's currently at number 13 on the uh, the old uh, indigenous music countdown, which is kind of cool. It's raining in December. You're a long way from home. Too sure where that is Cause you've been gone so long Your mind takes to racing All things you should have done But you can't go back You're too far gone You're too far gone Rain on her window, it's keeping three quarter time. As you stood in the doorway, did your best not to cry. You know she ain't sleeping, but you still gotta go. Even though she's the closest that you had to her home in a long old time. Call up your 
brother And you still have a dime Before your pockets were empty And your lungs worked just fine Say so long to the flat land That you once called your home Farewell to the foothills out to my old mentor buddy uh, it's, it's, uh, it's called Joplin Blues it's for Aaron Shoresman you're probably not in Texas but I hope that you are with your mesh back cap on backwards and some backwood redneck bar betting on a baseball game Taking hold them way too far I guess it is what it is Till it ain't no more Was it ever about the cards? You're probably drinking ribbons With your old Milwaukee blues Singing Billy Gibbons As you take off with the loop Betting on an old banjo and a borrowed mandolin Hell, I'd give everything that I ain't got yet Just to hear those sounds again Chances are somebody sang this all before It ain't about the whiskey Or the girl at the liquor store When it's you out on the highway Pocket full of songs. You gotta take what's left if you can the rest and write off all those wrongs. You're probably not in heaven between the savior and the thief. Cause you've been rolling sevens with aces up your sleeve. There ain't nothing like a guitar pole To lose your job in blues I just hope that girl Tattooed on your arm She's standing next to you The chances are somebody sang The song before It ain't about the whiskey Or the girl at the liquor store When it's you out on with your pocket full of songs You gotta take what's left If you can the rest And right off all those wrongs You're standing at the crossroads That old devil's waiting there He don't know you'll cheat the dealer Steal it back and call it fair Probably not in Texas, but I hope that you are With your mesh back cap on backwards In some backwood redneck bar Betting on a baseball game, but taking hold them way too far I guess it is what it is, still there ain't no more Was it ever about the cart? I guess it is what it is, still there ain't no more it was never about those cars. Hi, I'm Bad Hillary, and I'm going to teach you how to make this little envelope clutch without the drawings. These drawings are done by my partner, Seth, but he's not here, so we're just going to do the clutch on its own. Um, what you need to start is some leather. You can really use any color, any 
texture, any weight. I like to use veg tan leather. This is cow. Um, it's tan with vegetables, it's nice and light. It starts off pink, and then as you touch it, it turns dark like this. Um, so you got your leather. I use an awl like this, little pokey guy to make marks. Um, I use a cutter, roller cutter like this, or um, an X-Acto knife like this, whatever you'd like. It's good to have a cutting mat to cut on, so I have this guy here. Um, when I get to the stitching part, I use these large needles. I use waxed thread like this. And to punch the holes, I use this hole punchy guy. You can kind of use whatever tools you have around. You can punch holes with an awl as well. It just sort of depends on what you, what you have access to. This is eyebrows. Go away, eyebrows. Okay. And um, I also use this metal ruler right here. So when you cut with an X-Acto knife, you don't cut into the wood or the whatever other kind of ruler you might use. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this clutch here. And uh, you guys can follow along. If you have any questions, send me a message. And um, we'll see how it goes. Trying to imagine like what would my ideal workspace even be, you know? Yeah. Like if I was gonna build, build a workspace. Mm -hmm. This is a song written by my good friend Marcus Summer uh, from Pinocchio, Alberta. He was telling me this joke once that, uh, I guess it wasn't really a joke, but every time a telemarketer calls or, or his bank calls or somebody there, and they're trying to figure out what his occupation is. He's a farrier. He just answers, you know, because he's busy. And I shoot horses. And they're like, pardon me? I, I shoot horses. Excuse me. Sir, did you just say you shoot horses? No, no, I'm a farrier. I shoe horses. <laughs> and uh, he got so sick of it, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to write a song about shooting a horse. So <laughs> here it is. <laughs> If you ever get tired Living in the city Just know You can always come back home If your dreams come to die Out there in the city Just know That I'm out here on my own A railway crossing East of the highway Seems to be 
use less, more and more. And as a slow train car dies, I'm moving onward, better or worse, just like before. And if I make it to Calgary before the snow flies, would you think about returning your stay? Because the dogs and your necks, they miss you even more than I do. And I don't think I can handle the bay. That half ton you left in. No, isn't insured, and I only bought it for hauling hay. And that problem's only half of what you've endured, and I'm well aware you won't return without a change. And if I make it to Calgary before the springtime. Would you think about returning your state? Because the dogs and your necks, they miss you even more than I do. And I don't think I can handle the bay. When I look at him, I see your face. And if you're gone too long, I'll have to put down the bay. How's that for agricultural tragic? Hey, good morning. Trying the groomer here. Just gonna do a little instructional video on how to make some snow. First, you gotta make sure that you got a nice cold day. And the sun's out. And then we're gonna come and set up the uh, snow gun here. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to know about making snow. Good luck. Hi, my name is Dana Lee, and this is Snow Dance.
And now I'll read the origin story of Snow Dance. If a ski hill has no snow, by Lyndon Fraze. I'm Lyndon Fraze. If there's no snow on the ground, halfway through November, Falcon Lake folks shrug their shoulders. By December 1st, no snow yet, eh? enters talk at Lumber One and Liquor Two, the local lumber and everything else store. Nothing on the ground in mid-December and they're wondering if, in his white bearded age, the big guy upstairs has forgotten to turn a leaf in his calendar. But everyone knows the snow will fall before Christmas break, like it does every year, except that one time it didn't. Christmas break is when the Falcon Ridge ski slopes are busiest. And without Christmas break, the break-even operation does not break even. So, to be sure everything is ready, Ryan Grease Gemmel begins firing up all the equipment in November. The grooming machines and snowmakers always complain a little when awoken from their slumber, but with a little coaxing, they breathe the early winter air and sputter to life. This past year, Craig even got the seat warmer and the piston bully working. Well in advance of opening weekend, staff show up. Traditionally, a lot of them have been musicians returning from a summer of touring, ready to put a little money in their emptied pockets. In the rental shop, you'll find only the most handsome musicians. Emily is allegedly responsible for this pattern of chiseled jaws and dreamy eyes in the shop. An attendant she hires will wax his mustache and then wax your skis. You'll approach him looking to get your skis fixed, but for the rest of the day you'll be fixing eyes upon him. Emily makes woodsmen out of them if she can, and in the springtime, after they've packed up their banjos and left, she has been known to pine away for those who, who have proven themselves to be more than just all plaid and no axe. The year of this story, the year without the snow, everyone reported for their shifts as usual. Everything was in place and ready for snow. But opening weekend came and went, 
Staff tried to keep busy as they waited around for the year's first powder, but no snow meant no customers. A lot more washed up base was going on in the kitchen than actual dishwashing. Instead of tuning bindings, they were tuning guitars. Plenty of rosin was being applied to violin bows, not so much to the bottoms of skis. Out the window, the runs were bare. The musicians cared about the resort and wanted to help. One evening, as they sat around the fireplace strumming chords, it occurred to them that if snow wasn't going to bring people to the slopes, maybe their music could. This was the seed of the Snow Dance Music Festival, one of the best things to ever happen to Falcon Ridge. A one-time event to get people to the barren slopes has become an annual music festival. Musicians work their shifts on the hill and take breaks to perform. Concert goers cozy up next to the fireplace and friends can be seen squiggling down the hill providing a heartwarming backdrop for the music on stage. Of course, if you run a ski hill, you would prefer to have piles of snow every year. No one would choose otherwise. But obstacles have their way of breeding new ideas. And the old saying ran true again. Necessity is the mother of music festivals. The end.